Hi y'all and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a lemon icebox pie. Uh, I am here with my son visiting him and he loves lemon pies, whether it's the icebox pie or the lemon meringue. I usually make the lemon icebox in the summer and the meringue ones in the winter, but actually I don't put a meringue on it because um, in my family, we don't like meringue. My husband didn't like it. He would rather have Cool Whip or Ready Whip. And I don't like meringue. I just would rather just have my pie plain, maybe a little bit of Cool Whip or Ready Whip on it, but for the most part plain. So to get started, we want um, 12 ounces of frozen lemonade. All right, so. Um, this is a 12 ounce can, so I'm going to take half of it, and you want it frozen still. Did you come in here to help me? You are. Looks like I have a little helper today. Can you tell everybody hi? Just wave. There's yourself. Can you wave at yourself? No, this is my little granddaughter, Oakley. <laughs> You're being silly, aren't you? Okay. Okay, that's about half. I'm going to put the lid back on this, and then I'll stick it back in the freezer in a minute. All right, just a moment. I forgot the cool whip or whip topping, whatever you want to call it. I, uh, mine came from Aldi. I can get this open. I'll bring you right back because we need to wash Oakley's hands. All right, now I'm going to bring you down. If you can see here, let me see. My thing messed up a little. But this is the uh, lemonade that's in the bowl. Oh, my tripod's not wanting to work for me today. Then we're going to, you want to pour this in? <laughs> Quit sticking your tongue out. That's not very nice. Okay, can you pour that in? And it's going to go in real slow. This is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Let me see if I can help it along here. I love now that uh, these a lot of times will come with, you know, the pop-off lids, the or pull tab lids. I think she is wondering who I am talking to since she cannot see anyone. I'm sorry if that scraping is bothering your ears. Okay. So we're going to mix this 14 ounce can of sweetened, make sure it's sweetened condensed milk and not evaporated. We're going to mix them together. Chop up that lemonade. Now you can do this without the lemonade frozen. You can let it all out, but it seems like it takes forever to set up are set up and sometimes it doesn't always set up good whenever you use it thawed out you want to mix that for me doing a good job Oakley can you get it good job all right now, 
after you mix that up really, really well, you will take your Cool Whip, and I take about half, and then you want to do it gentle. You want to fold it in gently. Can you do this gently? Okay, you do that gently. Doing a good job. Let Mammy do there because that one there is a big clump. Let me get that clump out a little. Have to gently poke that down. Gently poke those down. Then we just fold it again. Do you want to do it some more? You're doing a good job. You're such a good helper. Okay, now let me put this one in there. The rest of it, and this is an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. So you use six ounces of frozen lemonade 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and an eight ounce tub of whipped topping. And you thaw that out. What I do is I get it to where it's uh, still really cold. I don't let it, you know, sit and thaw out too long. It's still a little partially frozen when I start with it, because you want everything really cold. Get some of these clumps out there. Sometimes if I have a clump, I'll take it over to the side and kind of like press it out. Do you want to uh, stir it again? She loves to help me cook whenever I'm cooking and her mama's cooking. Just pull your hair back here a little. Get my thumb, since I'm not gonna be touching that food. You're doing a good job. Okay, let Mammy see it. I think we're about done there. All right, then you're going to take you a nine inch uh, graham cracker pie shell. You can, you know, make your own out of graham crackers or you can just buy one of these that are ready to go and put your topping in there or your mixture, I mean. Try to stir a little bit here because I see a couple of places that weren't mixed real good. Looks like I'm going to have some left over. This may have only been eight inch pie shell. That's okay, we'll put the remainder in a bowl or something. Keep going as much as I can. I'll probably just pile it up here too. Oh, I should let her lick this bowl or not. She's already had a popsicle and I gave her some cotton candy. So she's had some sugar today. Do you want to lick that? Then I just put the top one that came with it. Then you want it to set in the fridge at least five or six hours. The longer, the better. Um, overnight is best. And that way it lets it set up. Then you cut it and serve it. I will bring you back. Tell them bye.
You want to wave bye-bye? You want to wave bye-bye to me? <laughs> She's not so sure about this. Um, I will bring you back this evening when we go to eat it. And I did not know this when um, I had brought this stuff with me to make this pie. And um, I asked my daughter-in-law yesterday, when do you want you know me to cook? Because I'm going to do a chicken dish also and I will be recording that. And she said Monday. So I will uh, have that, do that. And so I, but anyway, as I was saying, I got sidetracked for a minute. I couldn't put this together and talk at the same time. Uh, this morning I heard on the radio, it was National Lemon Meringue Pie Day. I didn't even know there was such thing. So we're going to be having lemon icebox pie, which I'd already planned to make before I even knew that. Um, it's amazing how God just uh, makes things coincide sometimes. Huh? All right, I'll bring you back later. Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to taste test the lemon ice box pie. Uh, it is actually the next evening. I did not taste test last night because I was still full from the uh, supper that um, we had. And today we've been at the lake all day. So I'm just getting around to do it and now. I'm tired, I'm back in the bedroom, getting ready to watch some TV here at my son's house. And so let me bring the pie up and show you the pie, you know, I took it out. Um, sorry if I'm talking draggy, I'm just tired. But here's the pie and now I'm getting ready to take a bite. Set that back down. It's hard, I'm gonna have to switch hands. <laughs> I am just not left-handed at all. Here we go. Mm. That is good. So try this. Um, you may be able have a function to go to, a potluck at church. Uh, it's something quick and easy to make. It's nice and light and refreshing. So just try it. It's really good. You know, and this would even be good um, if you want to make your own crust with the shortbread crust too. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please make sure you share the video. And as I said, we are going to have a drawing once we get to 500 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna be giving, I said a drawing to, for a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a gift. And, you know, make sure you share. All right, remember to always season your cooking for love. Bye-bye, y'all.